Hi there, are you guys ready for your writing assignment? I am excited about this writing assignment because just like every week, I like to have an opinion piece where you tell me what you would rather. So uh, last week, I pulled from something else that we've already been talking about. I think I'm gonna do the same thing this week. Let me just move this up, little baby around so that way I can show you my paper when I'm all done. So I wanted to pull back all the way until our very first week when we talked about ladybugs. So my question this week is what is your favorite kind of insect? A ladybug or a bee. Now, I have this one where it is on the computer and you could print it out, but I already hear you saying, but Ms. Hayes, what if I can't print it out? That's okay. That's what I'm here for. I always draw it for you because these ones are kind of harder to just look at and draw. And sometimes you might need uh, help figuring it out. And that's why I'm here. So here's my paper. Now, the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. So I'm gonna write my name. So that way I know this is my paper. All right, and then right under here, I'm gonna ask my question. So that way I won't forget it. And it's, what is your favorite kind of insect? So. That's what I'm going to write. I'm going to write what is your favorite insect. If you need to pause it so that way you can write it, go for it. All right, now I'm going to do the next piece, which is drawing our two pictures. So I'm going to make inside my two lines, just like I did last time, I made two lines. So that way it showed me, I'm going to write, draw one picture here, and I'm going to draw the other picture on the other side for each one of my insect options. I'm going to have ladybug on this side, and I'm going to have bee on the other side. I'm going to start each one off with an oval. So here's my oval for my ladybug. Now, on the top side of this, I'm going to section it off just like that. Whoop. Just a curved line. And then I'm going to come through the middle of this one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make another curved line right there. Now, here's my ladybug face. I'm gonna give my ladybug some antennas too. Up here, I'm gonna give myself some ladybug spots. And I'm gonna give myself some ladybug legs. And I remember from the when we investigated ladybugs that ladybugs have six legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And simple as that, ladybug. So now do I want ladybug and what was the other one? That's right. B. So we're going to draw a B over here. I'm going to start that one off with an oval, just like I did this one. Okay, and then I'm going to make the same two lines. I'm going to make a curved area for my face, and then I one right down the middle. So that way I have my room for my face. I'll make my B with a smile too. I'm going to give him some antennas. I'm going to make his antennas swirly though. And then I'm going to give my bee some wings because my bee flies around on his wings. And I'm going to give my bee some stripes. <laughs> bzz, bzz, bzz. All right. So now you have your two drawings, but do you want to leave them up or do we label our pictures? We label them. So I have a ladybug on this side. So I'm gonna write ladybug. That way I remember how to spell it. 
And then on the other side, I'm going to write B for my B. And those are our directions. What is your favorite insect? A ladybug or a bee? Now, I redrew both of these so that way you knew what both of them are. But if you are making this all by yourself, you don't need to draw both of these. You could just draw one if you wanted. And then I would know which one is your favorite. But I know some of you had a lot of fun last time drawing between uh, whether your favorite animal was a turtle or a crab. That's what our opinion was last week, if you remember. And some of you drew both of them because we had a lot of fun drawing it. So I don't want to tell you you can't draw both. You definitely can. But you don't have to if you don't want to. All right. The next part is you telling me which one you pick. So you could write, I like and then you'll have your blank i like and then you're going to pick one i like ladybugs or i like bees and then you're going to tell me why i don't want to just know your one sentence i want to know why you like that one better so we're going to add that super big third grade word, because. Now that's a big word. And we threw that in on our sight word wall right before we went on break. And that was the biggest word on our sight word wall. So I added two extra lines at the bottom. So that way, if you needed lots of space to write, you could. So it's, I like, you tell me which one, because, and then you tell me the reason. And you friends did such a great job last week with giving me great reasons as to why you made the choice you did. And that is what makes your opinion so special because it tells me why. And you're gonna hear that question a lot. The older you get, you're gonna tell you, you're gonna tell your teacher something and they're gonna ask you to go even farther. They're gonna ask you, why do you think that? And this is a great way to practice explaining your thoughts, getting it from inside your noggin to out on the paper. Because can I read your mind? No. So it's the best one you can tell me. So really think about it. If you like one over the other, why? Is it because how they look? Is it because of the things they do? Is it because of where you see them? Why do you like it? Why is that your choice? I'm excited to see it. Just like always with our awesome writing assignments, I'll print them out and I'll make them into our book and I put them all together for you guys. And even though we can't see them in the classroom, just like I promised, I'm gonna have them all printed out and put together. And if I need to, I'll mail each one of you out one of our classroom books and you'll each get to keep a classroom book from the classroom. And I always love doing that because you work so hard on these. And you put a lot of effort and time and you put a lot, lots of your imagination into your writing. And I think it's amazing. And I love to share it with everyone. So keep doing this amazing work that you are. So that way it makes our books just explode with awesome. All right, my friends, I will see you next week. I'm so happy to have spent all this week with you. I love you and I miss you.